Hello, I am Roman Runyon, and I did my report on Educating Esme, Diary of Teacher's First Year by Esme Reggie Cottle. Here's a cover. To every education major out there, I recommend that you read this book right here. This book is amazing. You know, it's about a teacher who obviously wrote a diary about her first year in teaching, but this book will help you prepare for anything that comes your way. Maybe it can inspire you to try some teaching methods, or maybe it can inspire you on how to handle kids who really misbehave in class. I recommend any education major to read this. Now, some things I like about this book. For one thing, I just like the author herself. She reminds me so much of myself. Her and I have so much in common. She's funny, she's sarcastic, she doesn't take anybody's crap, just like me. The only difference is that she doesn't know how to manage her stress properly. Like In this book, she mentions many times that she breaks down and cries. And I can understand that, because teachers go through a lot of drama, and they don't get paid enough. I personally think that teachers should have the highest salary in the United States, but it's kind of funny because they don't. Like, they're not even close. They don't get paid enough to do their jobs. But anyway, um, but the thing is, you know, I don't let stress take over me. I fight back. Okay, uh, just so you know, whenever I lean forward, that just means I'm checking the time. So, enough about that. But anyway, um, now one thing I didn't like about the book was Mr. Turner. Uh, Mr. Turner was just a jerk to Madam, as she calls herself. Miss Cottle calls, her, calls herself Madam. She just wanted to be called that because everybody calls her that, but he didn't allow that. I mean, he pretty much just took her right of expression. If she wants to be called, called Madam, I think she should be called Madam. And plus, he stereotyped black people. She, she, he had something against her being pregnant. I mean, he was just not the best guy to have as a principal or boss, honestly. Like, if I was in her position, I would have just quit because I wouldn't be able to have a guy like that because I couldn't be me. You know, when you tell me what to do when it comes to calling me, by, like, what name I want to be called, you just take away who I am. Okay. We still got a little bit of time. Um, my favorite part, my favorite story in this book was the one where she makes this kid teach for a day while she pretends to be that student who she makes teach because <laughs> it's just funny because I've never seen anybody handle a student like that. And it was a perfect technique. The kids were laughing and heck, I was laughing. And it was really good. Um... My favorite quote in this book, on page 147, says, I suppose an act of imagina imagination can be a form of madness, or it can be the thing that keeps you from going mad. And I can relate to this in many different ways. Uh, okay. So, when I was, you know, I one thing that I can relate with Madam is that, you know, I've been to a rough school as well. Only difference is I wasn't teaching. I was actually a student, and I've been to a school where faculties don't know how to do their jobs. They just sit there and watch fights. And when a kid comes and says, "Hey, this person's doing this to me," they don't do anything about it. I mean, of course, I didn't go to Chicago, but I'm just saying I know how it feels. And you know, the imagination can do many things. Like it can make you go crazy. Like it made me go crazy and it can cause you to not go mad it's really it's a really interesting thing and I didn't like the end honestly like she finishes off by saying that she wasn't happy even though she got a, another job with a principal who was nice which I was happy for her then but I didn't understand why she was so miserable like if she was in front of me right now I'd ask her why are you still sad because, I mean, she may have said it in the book and I missed it, but, you know, I just I just want to know why. But this is my video report. Uh, thank you for watching, and happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, I did this pretty early. I did it on my Thanksgiving break. And, yeah, peace.